Hey there, just a quick vid to show you how to turn a five gallon bucket into a five gallon bucket refrigerator. This one's 12 volt DC powered. That's a Peltier module, Peltier cooling module on the top. Right now I just got it running on a 12 volt transformer. Unit pulls 12 amps, so 12 volt, 12 amp. As far as temps, it's 77 to 79 in here right now. Pushing 80 actually right now. I'm still getting 47 in the bucket, so we're getting about a 33, 32, 33 temp drop. They're both putting out super, super cold air. And then, of course, the warm in the back. Awesome. It's working awesome. All the hot air coming out the top and through here and all the cold air filling up the unit. Notice I changed it to rectangles. That's really important that you do that. So the entire heat sink, the base and all, fits inside of there. That way it'll be deeply recessed into the lid and you'll get plenty of good airflow around the edges here and here. Now all I'm going to do is cut a rectangle in the lid, snap it over, and then we'll add a whole bunch of extra small vent holes all over the top of the lid so that no hot air gets caught in between the two lids. Sweet, that turned out good. All right, now I'm putting the vents in the lid with a standard quarter inch drill bit. And just keep going around. Popped them out in about 10 minutes. Now the very last thing I'm gonna do is just cut a small notch in the bucket so the wires will come out without getting pinched under the lid. Just use tin snips to do that. But then we're set. Then I'm just going to hook it up and take the temp measurements. All right, now the temp tests.
Sweet. It's down to like 48, 47. That's working great. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's going to go up really fast in the sun. It was 47 degrees. That's beautiful. It's totally working. You can see it's going up now. It's like 50. It was 47 though, 47 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about, I don't know, 8 Celsius? Kind of hard to tell. Ambient temp, 77. With a lot of my projects, you can hook this one up to 200 watt solar panel straight connect. You can go with a 12 volt deep cycle battery. You can go with 12 volt transformer to the wall. Or you can just go to your car's SIG lighter. This is 12 volt, 12 amp, so it works great with most car SIG lighters. Those are usually amped, at least in my area, at 15. So, and just for reference, a lot of the products that are sold commercially for use in cars, the higher end ones, are 12 and 13 amp draws. So this is just a 12 amp draw, should work good. Here's just a quick rundown of the unit in full. So you get the two 92 millimeter fans, they're 12 volt, 0.2 amp draw. These are 40 millimeter fans, they're only 0 0.09 amp draw at 12 volts. Then you got the two 40 millimeter heat sinks. Underneath that, you have the Peltier chip that lies directly underneath this. It's also 40 millimeter square, so 40 millimeter, 40, 40 with the padding. And then you just have the big, single, large aluminum heat sink. Don't know the exact millimeters of that, but figuring the two fans at 92, and it just hangs over a little bit on this side, and just a little bit wider this way too. So maybe, uh, I don't know, 100 this way, and 200 that way, something like that. And that's about it. Other than the wires, the screws, and the fan guards, that's everything. One awesome thing about this is it's a cooler and a heater. So you can capture the heat and use it as a heater or a cooler, or at the same time. Picture this, picture if you put this in between two boxes, so this side went into the cooler box, this side into the heater box, and you could have a warmer on one side, cooler on the other, and then if you didn't want one of those, just pump the air out of the room or the area, the cold or the hot as needed, and you could use it year round, or for lots of different things. And right now, right on solar panels, You can't beat it. That's literally air conditioning straight off a solar panel. Kind of the holy grail of solar panels is the air conditioning on a solar panel. And we got it. Make sure that you pick the exact spot on the uh, lid, the top of the lid, so that you can snap the bucket right down on top like that. That came out perfect, and I just basically eyeballed it. If you're wondering how I got it so uniform, just follow the inside. Go like this, like this, and like this. And then on these, I went around the outside first, then the inside lip, and then right through the middle, all the way around. By the way, don't skip that part with the holes. Really important that if you're going to use the plastic lid on top, that you let the heat escape all around the unit. It's not just coming out the fans, but it's coming out all sides of the, uh, of the big metal heat sink too. So you have to have it all escape or it'll get stuck under there. And then surely some of that will go into the container below. This transformer I use, by the way, it's got the 12 volt socket. It's a 15 amp 12 volter. Had it for probably a couple years now. Never fails. Runs everything. So if you want to get into doing things with the Peltier, Peltier technology, this is an awesome, simple, cool thing you can do. Again, it's just a Peltier unit. You buy it all as one unit. It's already assembled. Then you just buy a five-gallon bucket and a five-gallon bucket styrofoam liner. 
If you don't want to do the five gallon bucket and roo, you can always just use an ice chest. It's mounted in the lid. If you're real handy, you can buy the parts to the Peltier unit, the four fans, the two heat sinks, or three heat sinks in this case, and a couple of Peltier chips with the uh, thermal paste. But uh, you can just buy those units all as one for as little as like 20 bucks. I paid 31 for it, but then of course it went down to 21. As far as the sizing for the bucket, that, that module right there is good for, I think, 20 liters, it says, which is about 5.2 gallons. So that's a 5-gallon bucket, and then the styrofoam liner on the inside is a little smaller. It's probably 4.5 gallons inside of that. So it works perfect. whole thing lines up good, works good, solid, stable. I'm not sure what else to say about it.